Hi developers, so in this part we will continue to work on uh, cart module and as you know in last part we pushed the local cart to the DB through uh, API and now we will add some more feature to the cart modules. Uh, what kind of feature I will just let you know. So first of all we will get the cart item list uh, through API from database uh, just after login and second thing is we will just uh, push the cart item uh, count in that uh, header part and uh, after that we will check that if product is already added then there should be remove to cart option rather than add to cart all right and last one is we will fix uh, one more bug in uh, cart so if user is not logged in and he just try to click on to add to cart and the first time it will not show the count on the cart uh, cart uh, let me just show you if i'm just clicking on that part add to cart the cart is added to the local uh, uh, storage but this is not visible there and if I am just, uh, just adding one more part there, so let me just open that one and just clicking on here. Now you can see that the cart is directly jumping on the uh, two, right? So we will fix that bug also. Okay, so we don't need this cart, uh, a local cart for a moment, so I am just removing it. And our first part is just uh, uh, get the data from uh, database through API for uh, cart item list, right? So the first thing is that uh, where we have to write this code. So we will just write this code once user is just logged in. So we will open uh, the product uh, service dot uh, ts file. We will write this code there and we will call this function once user is just get logged in. So I am just uh, creating one more function there. Get cart list and we will use here user id to and that a type of this that will be number and we will use this user id to filter the item related to specific user right so you can see that in uh, cart db we have uh, around five or six item and let's say i just want to item only for the user id one then we can just pass this id like this and uh, the item will be three here and they, they all are related to the user id one here you can see that for all of these right so let's come back there and uh, to just save our time i am just using this api and uh, pasting there and we will use their get method okay and after that as, as i mentioned you we can use uh, this url let me remove this old stuff from there And uh, at the last, we can just push this uh, dynamic user ID there. And one more thing, guys. So we need uh, our API response there. So I will just check that our uh, response should be observable. So response observe. We will what we will observe their response. Okay. And after that, we need to subscribe it. So just just put there subscribe and uh, we will get a uh, data as a parameter there so we will check if the result is defined as well as the result dot body is also defined you know that in body we will get the actual result uh, uh, result will actually the combination of uh, db response as well as header status and all and if you will just uh, put their body then that will be the actual response and we will just use this cart data because this is the event emitter you know that we are using since last three and four uh, uh, parts so this is the event emitter right so we will push our uh, result dot body there and now we can use it right uh, after user login but uh, we need to define there the type of uh, API response also there and now this error will resolve okay so now let's open the uh, user auth dot component dot ts and just after getting all this data there we what we can do there we can just call this dot product dot uh, get product list right and we can pass their user id so user id is not there so uh, this is inside that uh, if condition right so what I'm going to do there I will just put these two lines out of uh, the if condition 
and now we can access this uh, condition there also perfect but now one more thing there as i told you in previous video also uh, if maybe uh, when we are using the actual server side scripting language like uh, java python or something that time we don't need uh, that set time because uh, the actual programming language can handle lots of requests at the same time but we are using json server there and it cannot handle lots of requests same as the uh, 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 actual language so that's why we need to again put their set timeout so that it can send a request just after a moment right so just simply put there set timeout and the time out will be around 2000 micro millisecond that means two second and uh, okay after that we can try like and we can check that that the value is updating on header or not right so i am just logging there uh, with uh, anil and password is also there abc123 and once i will just click over there you will find that we can see that the cart item are three there and uh, if you just want to check there the count is still also three there all right so that is the one thing that we just find out the next issue is let's say i'm on that project page that product page and if i'm just clicking on add to cart right uh, we got a message product is added to cart and api is also hit there right uh, this is fine if i just refresh there you can see that count is updated there is a four item in our cart but the data is not updated there as well as uh, you can see that uh, add to cart should be changed with remove to cart these two things are not happening right so let's do that now for that let's jump on a product detail dot component and uh, what we need to do there so here you can find a option to add to cart right and we have two things there one uh, if user is not logged in second one if user is logged in right and what i just need to do there if we just got the result then we need to just call this uh, uh, get cart list api again so this dot product dot get cart list and there you can pass user id and we are just getting this user id from local storage this is already written that code right now after that just simply put there this dot remove cart is true perfect and now you will find one more issue there like uh, uh, after refresh the value is just got zero so just come back there we will fix that issue also so if we just logged in again with the anil we just uh, reached out on uh, that product and if i just click on add to cart now you can see that count is also updated and remove to cart is also there right this is also fixed that is fixed once user just click on there right if just user refresh this page you will find that again we have the same issue right so to fix that what we need to do there uh, so here you can see that on ng ng on it we just return some condition to fetch the items right so once we will check that uh, user is logged in uh, that time uh, what we can do there we can just hit that api again and we can fix uh, our reloading uh, uh, cart uh, item issue on a reload so how let me just show you so what i need there once we need this uh, user id and all so i am just putting these values there and if i'm check there if user is not undefined or either not null that means we are logged in right first thing is that after that we will push this uh, we will get this user id from user details all right and the next thing that we need to do there we will just call this dot product dot get cart list and we can pass there user id all right so it will fix one issue let me show you which one if you if you will just reload it you can see that cart count is there that is working fine but we have to fix this add to cart should be 
रिप्लेस विद रिमूव टू कार्ड बिकॉज दिस आइटम इज ऑलरेडी एडेड इन द कार्ड राइट सो फॉर दैट जस्ट गो डाउन एंड एंड जस्ट पुट देयर दिस डॉट प्रोडक्ट डॉट कार्ट डेटा राइट हेर यू कैन सी दैट कार्ट डेटा and uh, dot subscribe and as you know subscribe will return a call back function so i am just getting this result there and uh, here i will check let item equal to result dot filter we will applying the same condition as we used there right so that is almost similar and a filter is basically a function so what i am just doing there i am just putting a parameter there let's say parameter name is item and type of this is product and i will check that product id product id means uh, the id of that product here you can check in the url also and you, we are just getting this id there only only right dot to string right and the triple equal to we will just match with item dot product id dot to string but again you will find that there is a error because he just saying that product type don't have product id there right and uh, even in database you can see that we have a product id we have to match that thing right so uh, to solve this problem just go back to the type and just add a one more more property there product id type of it will be it could be undefined or number perfect and now you will find that uh it that, that is resolved but that could be pass possibly undefined for that to resolve this we can just put that question mark and now this issue is also fixed and after that we will check if item dot length is uh, something like that, that means uh, if you will check check there that means item is neither undefined either uh, false or neither zero if there is some positive value then what we can do that this dot uh, remove to cart is true uh now what happened to that okay just let me check that one mm ah uh, this is actually not remove to cart this is remove cart and now we can check this is working fine or not so as you can see that this product is added to the uh, cart so here we have option to remove to cart so can we remove that uh, item from cart actually not because we did not write the function for a moment yes we uh, just make a function for remove to uh, cart from local storage from node db so in next part we will just do that only and uh, there is a one more thing that just i want to tell uh, there is two more things actually if we will just click over the logout button now you will find that the still items are there to resolve this just go to the header dot component dot ts and uh, simply just put there this dot product dot card data dot emit because this is a event emitter and let's push a blank value there and last but not least as i told you there is a bug so if we are not logged in and if i just try to click on the add to cart uh, this item is actually added in our local storage here you can see that but this is not reflected there either it will reflect once two items are added or either for after refresh to fix that what we need to do there just again come to the uh, product service to ts file and uh, just use this condition uh, use this statement inside the if condition also and we need to put there simply data right because once we are just adding our first product to cart then it will not updating it right and let's say i'm just uh, removing it for a moment uh, manually 
And now if I just refresh and just clicking on the add to cart, then you can see that this is reflecting the value. All right. So that's all for this part. And thank you so much for watching this video. And please keep supporting me by subscribe my channel, like this video, and share your feedback in comment section. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.